Yeah, indeed, lots to look forward to on your television screens, including a brand new show called Frontier Vets. And we're joined by Dr. Greg Simpson from the show. Uh, before we get to chat to him, if you don't know about the show, I've never heard about it, here's a little sneak peek. Take a look. Eight young veterinary students descend on South Africa to run the remote Haluva Carney Animal Hospital. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it now. <laughs> They work under the guidance of Dr. Greg, the resident vet. Klobukani Animal Clinic, Tina speaking, how can I help you? It's a brutal learning ground. I don't think she's alive though. Where they will be faced with the constant threat of physical danger. <laughs> An emotional burnout. Could have done something faster. The carcass didn't have rigor mortis, which is quite a disastrous issue. This is really a wild animal that can easily break your neck. I was terrified. I don't know the language. I don't know how to handle these animals. Everyone just keep quiet as well. I was furious with some of the people. Drew and Della are going to a man who sets traps. Oh, just thinking about it lets me nearly cry. It, it is my decision. It didn't seem to get a big deal. It was. <laughs> I can't do it. Do they have what it takes to become a yeah. frontier vet? Oh, very intriguing viewing, viewing indeed on Saturdays, 11.30 a.m. It's called Frontier Vets. And as I said, I'm joined this morning by Dr. Greg Simpson, who's here to tell us more about the show. Thanks for being with us. Great, thanks. Good to be here. Yeah, so we've seen a lot of reality TV shows before. What do you think sets Frontier Vets apart from the rest of them? Well, this is a, a local show, um, which I think is a big difference. We've seen so many foreign shows, so many foreign people come here and... and, and uh, film in our country, which has got so much amazing wildlife. Yeah. So we really wanted to do something local. You know, local students, uh, local production company. It ended up going overseas for the, for the last uh, editing. But uh, I think that's what really sets it apart. Yeah. We saw some high emotion there. I think Agatha, one of the, the student vets, was crying in that yeah. video clip over there. So w with you being a mentor to these young vets, uh, what, what's, how do you find it challenging? Or do you find it challenging to keep them motivated, especially throughout these emotional times? Absolutely. I mean, we're also working in quite a, a resource-limited and stressful situation. They're on their own. They've got to survive. They're thrown in the deep end. Uh, they've got to run this clinic, and it's, it's so, like, a, a, you know, experience they're not used to. So, yeah. and, and as a mentor, you've got to take whatever you get. You know, you just accept the student, and you've got to work with them and, and bring out the best in them. So yeah. it's uh, definitely a bit stressful, and some days you wish you weren't there, but, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I think most importantly, you were stating just now, now that this is primarily a South African production, even though it went uh, to the States for the last bit of the editing part of it. But how important do you think is it to have South African content like this available to our audiences? So one of the prime reasons we actually did this show, or we came up with the idea, is that in South Africa, we suffer from a, well, let's put it this way, the, all the cultures do not necessarily see veterinary science the same way. Okay. So we wanted to actually provide some local role models for South Africans watching this on their TV. You know, not everyone grows up with a veterinarian on their, on their corner um, that they can, they can relate to. So we wanted to have some local role models that people like say, I could do this profession. Uh, looking after animals is not necessarily seen as a, a high status symbol in all our cultures. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted something that all our different cultures could aspire to and say, yeah. I want to be a veterinarian, I want to be an animal husbandry, or I want to be in a conservation. Yeah and they could relate to that. So that's what we wanted to achieve. So how, how would you actually inspire young people right now who are watching this and thinking they might possibly see themselves as a possible future vet? How would you inspire them to take on this, uh, this, this career? Well, I think the biggest thing would be to develop their interest. So try and spend some time with a veterinarian, try and spend some time with the veterinary services. Um, Experience is, is the big thing. Yeah. You know, if you can show that you're keen and interested and, and uh, have got some experience, spend some time on an animal, animal welfare organisation. And then, of course, you need to work on your academics. Absolutely. Focus on your, your science, biology, maths. 
Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Like there. That, that is international symbol for get in there with those subjects, you know? Get those distinctions. <laughs> Greg, thank you so, so Absolutely. much. And of course, I hope that this show does pique the interest of many of our future veterinarians. You can catch it Saturday, 11.30 a.m. on SABC3. In fact, when you watch Weekend Edition, just take a quick little break, get your cup of coffee, sit back down on the couch and watch it. It's called Frontier Vets. Right now, let's find out what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show.